Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and the final of the Battleship League. It's the final of Division 1. Pretty much as you could have expected right from the start. It is Yamato versus Iowa. Um, both, or, well, technically versus the North South Carolina as well, but um, it's, uh, it's Yamato that's going to be the interesting one, probably, um, versus Iowa, <laughs> not the Treaty Fudge. But I will, uh, we will go up against the Treaty Fudge first, um, and we will see how things go. Um, Yamato has struggled a little bit, um, not because of her actual design, but uh, because of problems to do with uh, the guns, which are not acting as they historically would, um, for various reasons. But, you know, she's uh, she's still managed to uh, get a couple of get victories against Vanguard and Bismarck. So let's see how she does against the North Carolina South Dakota combined cobbled together USS Drakinifal. And then we can test it against Iowa. Dead ahead, just as I have for the other ships. Um, need to get Yamato nice and close to get her guns actually to be able to hit. Hopefully we get a couple of big hits. Those big hits cause the enemy ship to roll over and then we can batter them into submission. Game has a side fight HE just now, which is an interesting choice. Um, as with all uh, the Battleship League fights, I I don't play around with any of this stuff uh, unless it's to try and fix a bug. Um, you know, turning secondaries off and things like that, because the AI opponent can't do that. So that's that's an unfair advantage to the human controlled ship. Oh, there we go. A couple of big hits. And some flooding. Do take a fair amount of damage back, but yeah, not that flooding is not stuck on the treaty fudge. And that might. And mind you, I can't tell because the diagram's a bit weird for the treaty fudge. She is down to 75% float. Another big hit. Big chunk of damage coming off. Yamato yeah, kind of wallowing in the turn, but that's fine need to keep firing. Like, what is that? <laughs> Should have done something. Alright, slow down. Yeah, keep peppering them with the secondaries. Is Trudy Fudge rolling? Yeah. Rolling just throws off the calculations so much. more. We're gonna, we're gonna fire the mains. Thank you. We're going to go in for the, the slowest ram ever.
Oh, they're having a little kiss. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty fun things. Okay. <laughs> uh, not what you expect, but okay, no. Um, Alright, let's swap. As the treaty fudge. Let's see if we can even it up and force it to go to a tiebreaker. Um, given that I know that Yamato does want to close in, I don't. <laughs> if you see what I mean. So, I'm just going to try and stay at range. Uh, close enough that we can actually hit it. And fire all of our guns at once. Other than that, no real desire to close it. Wow, main deck pen. Probably the that's the fight there. Uh, Citadel hit that early on. Yamato's going to be really struggling for accuracy now. And I know it sounds weird. Oh, you can't possibly call the fight that early. Well, I'm going to make a prediction. I, I think Yamato's had it. Love to be Whoa! I do love to be proved wrong though. Holy moly! <laughs> she returns with a main deck pen of her own, obliterating like three quarters <laughs> of the structure on the treaty fudge. Yikes! <laughs> and causing a whole. Look at all those red sectors. See, that's what you want from an 18 inch gun, damn it. That's the fun stuff. Do that all the time, game. It's so much more fun. But, um... Yeah. I think, you yeah, know, Tree Fudge really suffering. Quite a bit of flooding as well. One more like that, Yamato, and you've got it. Try to make sure I can can actually fire. This can still hurt Yamato back. Yeah, one thing people forget in Dreadnoughts is structure is not the same as hit points. So these numbers that float above the ships, like that, like, oh well, you just did a lot of damage there, why do they not have a huge chunk of their structure come off? It very much depends where you do the damage. So if you're just blowing up the uh, extended bits of the ship, the, the prow and the uh, stern, the structure will go down, but slowly. If, however, you do something like that and you take out the a massive chunk of the center of the ship, um, it is going to give you that big loss of structure. Pretty much still in the fight, though. Not over yet. Yamato doing her best to just blow everything off the tree fudge. All of her 1.6s are out. Why Yamato isn't firing with her mains. Could be the secondaries interfering. No, there they go. And they do nothing, which. Yeah, well, I've complained enough about that, haven't I? <laughs> it's only so many times you can report it.
There we go. Down she goes. Well, that is three points for Yamato against the Treaty Fudge ships. That's the first three points we've had. And that's very interesting because that means against uh, Iowa now, we swap over to Iowa. Iowa needs to win this. So currently, Yamato has... Uh, three points, two points, two points. Iowa has two lots of two points. So she needs to win outright. If she if she draws, uh, Yamato still takes the title. So we'll take out Iowa ourselves. First of all, uh, again, I'm going to try and stay at range. Um, and hopefully it don't take a massive <laughs> obliterating chunk of a hit. Um, I think uh, Yamato is very swingy in her damage output. But she's going to have an even harder time hitting Iowa due to that fast speed bonus. Or rather debuff. From Yamato's point of view. A couple of hits. Very nice. Okay. those shells out while we have the uh, accuracy advantage. Very lucky that, that was a partial. Coming right at us. Yeah, we've got better at better chance to hit. We're just slowly working away our way at her. Ooh, <laughs> nine hundred damage. Ouch. Structure-wise, uh, Yamato's on 82. I was on 84. Uh, Yamato does have a bit of flowing though. She's on 87, whereas Iowa is absolutely fine. Yamato, though, look at the accuracy difference. 100% for Iowa. This is a mere 25 for... Yamato. Yeah, 
hit. Another good hit. Unless Yamato can reverse her fortunes pretty soon. She's just going to find herself unable to return fire. Thousand damage. <laughs> You're down to sixty percent. Just massive, like splash damage, um, bursty damage from Yamato. Unpredictable. Whereas Iowa's just kind of pretty reg. Oh, two of them. Oh, oh. okay. Iowa's just pretty regularly shipping away Yamato. 36 plays 51. Yamato much worse on the floating side of things. Those 16 inch super heavy shells have uh, managed to cause some mortar ingress. Keep up with the flooding. Keep them away. Don't let them close. And pray every time you see a an 18 inch shell that if it hits you it doesn't hit anything important. Oh, like that. And then there goes another 20% at the structure. Ouch. You have an end 30% structure, but 40% float, which is radically different. So, advantage is still very much on Iowa's side. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Much closer now, 32 versus 28. It wasn't. Oh, there's a flooding. Like, Iowa is doing a very good job keeping her flooding under control. Now the flooding has been in these, these sections which are not red. So she's able to pump them out another big chunk. If uh, if she could took a flooding hit here, here, or here, you know, one of these sections, she wouldn't be able to deal with it. Oh, that's a good hit in return. This is the final I was wanting. Close. Very close. 21 place 20. It's the float that you've got to keep an eye on though. Yamato down to 10%. I was still fine. No, 3%, 2%, 1%, 3%. 4%. She's hanging on. Another flooding hit. Mm, 2%. 0.410. Ooh, that was... That was close. <laughs> okay. Very close. Right. Um, we're going to swap over. But uh, Iowa... In the lead. So, 
Yamato needs to punch back in this uh, in this fight. Needs to sink Iowa. So just in terms of current point values, uh, Iowa is sitting on an average of two points. And Yamato is sitting on an average of 2.3. Is very slightly ahead. If Yamato is faster, that's the thing you with this fight. Speed versus brute force, basically. Okay. Damage to B turret, but not out of action. There we go, there's a big old chunk of damage. Not gonna about a third quarter or a third of a of uh oh, health. Slow down. Get that accuracy up now. Boom! Destroy the main gun! A turret. That is a big help. Seven now. Couple of flooding hits. And yes, I am manually controlling the secondary guns because they can in they can interfere with each other. Right back to full speed, don't let it get away. Oof. This is where the flooding becomes an issue. We're doing better on structure, but they're doing better on flooding. Guns off. Guns on. Might even end up a bit. We're going to enter size 3. Guns are loaded. Hitting the deck should not be hitting the deck at this this uh, angle. That should be hitting the superstructure or the belt. Uh, hitting the deck is just ridiculous. But I was having the same problem. And flooding. They're gonna do that thing where they kind of stop next to each other. Fight to the death. <laughs> Prepare to board. <laughs> Iowa does have flooding problems, but so does Yamato. Oh, a little bit of a glove tap. 
and Iowa sinks because of it. Okay, tiebreaker time. Well, always love to see it going down to the wire. That's what you want. That's good content. <laughs> you know, that's the fun. And Yamato, despite being uh, pretty handicapped, I'd say, by the game mechanics. Really putting up a brilliant fight here. All to play for, though. And it will all rest on if... Yamato can score a big hit or not. Mostly going Iowa's way for now, I think. Or is it? No. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty even. Pretty even. So flooding hits. I can get that flooding to stick. AI needs to be more aggressive with the Yamato. Ooh, that was a good chunk of damage though. 900 from the main deck, Ben. And this time, 1500, nearly 1600 damage. Brings Iowa down to 59% structure. Yamato still on 84, but only 86% float. Iowa on 90. Yamato to deal with, and she hasn't scored a hit back yet. Not for a while. Yeah, the 16s will just chip away at her. Oh, four, five pins. I think some of them were actually from secondary guns, but yeah, no, a huge chunk of Iowa's um, structure just gone. She does now have a little bit of flooding. Uh, Yamato, a little bit better off, but not looking particularly happy either. Interesting. Uh, Yamato has a lot of kind of red sections, uh, and Iowa, not so much. But Yamato has undamaged sections. Oh no, she's rolling over. No, don't let that happen. No, that will just let give Iowa the win. If you roll over. You're, uh, you're stuffed. Might be able to get away with it if you were, if uh, I was the other side of her. But on this side, that is a death sentence. Not unless uh, they can get the AI, can get Yamato turned around and firing, and she needs to do it very very soon or well, Iowa is going to take it yeah, 
Gamma 2 just not able to return fire. And a silent battleship is a dead one. Normal that. That was what was that? <laughs> uh, this is because the game's character making shells coming down like this, hitting someone like here, and then going, "Oh yeah, that's that's a uh, that's a deck hit." No, it's not. <laughs> yeah, these these compartments here just keeping keeping Yamato afloat, but. I think it's just prolonging the inevitable, to be honest. Unless she can fire back, she's... Eventually, I will get lucky and get a flooding hit in a sensitive spot. Yeah, that'll do it. Surely. 1%. Point 0.8, point 0.9, Done! Oh my. Well, there's a turn up for the books. The winner of the Battleship League. Only just. But close enough is... The Iowa class, very interesting, um, very interesting indeed. So they finish with a uh, average point of two, um, which is very very good. Uh, the North and South Carolina come. Third, <laughs> pretty sure, because um, Yamato with her three. Yeah, Yamato has an average of. What? That can't be right. <laughs> I'm calling Iowa the winner. I will sort out the mass of the table later when my brain doesn't hurt because I've recorded all the Division One battles all in one go. Uh, congratulations to Iowa. Um, a a well-deserved victory. Um, getting six points. Um, whereas uh, Yamato uh, technically would have seven. But <laughs> that's because I was reading North Carolina and South Dakota as separate ships. I'm not doing that. Uh, we combine them into one. So she would have only... Uh, get seven. I, I I'll do the points, but I were definitely the winner. If you beat if you <laughs> she beat Yamato, she beat the other two. Not stupidly easily, but easily enough. She is the winner, definitely. Yamato may maybe hindered by those eighteen inch guns and the game and. All the rest of it, but she did make a very good account of herself. I'm going to give her second place. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I hope you've enjoyed, um, <laughs> enjoyed this kind of like little bit of experimental history. And uh, I will see you again for some more historical or maybe alternate history. Just have to wait and see. And I will be doing a video with Drakenful talking over the results. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.